Hello everybody, I'm Jason Trader. I am the salesman of Yeshua, and with me as always is the fabulous Millie T. Hello. And this is the Art of Being. And today, with November rounding the corner, people around this nation are lining up to pick their next pagan. I mean, their next president. <laughs> so who are you voting for, Millicent? <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't vote. Oh, what? That means you're part of the problem. How? Because voting is good because the person who I picked oh, told me it was good. Hold on. Is it because <laughs> we're actually making a difference with our votes? Is that what you're trying to say? Yeah. Mm, uh, I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think so. So today, you know, we want to talk a little bit about this voting system because uh, I have been told to my face. Uh, that I'm part of the problem as a Christian that I don't because I don't vote because Christians should vote so that you can pick a candidate that has Christianly values and upholds the the nation. But I thought I was the salt of the earth, Millicent, and I thought I was supposed to preserve the nation by doing the right thing and following the rules and regulations of the Most High. And I thought that I was told not to pick men, well. but to pick. God and his ways and his ways only. So we in the traitor family, we don't vote. Um, but this is... Hold on, let's, let's break it down like this. Well, go ahead. I was going to say, but this is coming from me. Um, for those of you who don't know, uh, I was in the military and I still work for the government. And uh, so I've been in the government for a long time. And uh, I used to vote, man. I was a believer, like not, not just a believer, but a real believer. Mm -hmm. Like I signed on the dotted line to go to war and to die for this nation because I believed that we were doing the right thing. And uh, when I started transitioning out of the military, uh, man, oh man, did that Holy Ghost, like Here's he started talking to me. He started talking to me. Okay, go ahead. And I'm going to tell you, he started talking to me and I started recognizing that I don't live in America. Mm, what do you mean? I, uh, I live in Babylon. I live in I live in Rome. And the whole time, all I was doing was helping spread the pagan uh, false narrative that the uh, that Lucifer has taught to the world, which is that you need a government and, and you need to submit to it. And yeah. All all that. Yeah. Here's the deal. That's Jason's story. My story is I grew up. Looking around, never and believing. I've observed. All, I don't vote. I she never, never did. vote. I never wanted to vote. When my husband came in with a little sticker, I voted. I'd be like, "That's dumb." I yeah, mean, she Can did. I talk to you or can I talk to you? Yeah, like that's a waste of time. I grew up like at eight years old. Like I realized, I looked around at the adults in uh, our government, the adults in my school system, the adults just around, and I'm going, "Why is everybody okay with this way of living?" I didn't, I didn't like it. I didn't approve of it. I didn't like, I learned about insurance. I didn't like the way that went. I Gosh. learned about this. I didn't learn how to That's that a whole nother episode. I said, episode. if we're voting for these people and there's not really any change, we've been voting since, I mean, there's a little bit of change, but I'm talking about overall as America, like, like, um, we've been voting since like the 1700s and you guys are okay with it. And I got a problem with that. It's like a dog and pony show. I'm confused to why you guys don't see, like it's Republicans over here, it's Democrats over there. No, it's not. But they're both the same. They're the same. Now that I know we can agree with. So if they're both the same, then why aren't you picking up, well, what else around here is fake? What else around here is bupkis? What else about here is, 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 is nothing? You have this illusion that you're, helping in some kind of way by voting for someone else you're putting the faith uh, uh your faith and your belief and and everything that you want to be fixed in the hands of one person you do yeah, it yeah you do it yeah but guess what you can't they won't let you uh become president they, no, you, no you can't. go ahead go ahead try to put your pastor up you there can't. try you to cannot. take one of the pastors and put them up there you if won't even be on run, the ballot if anybody yeah, want, if nope. you wanted to run you nope. can't they'll look at you and laugh yeah. This is America, a place of freedom, but there's so much restrictions. But there's only two choices. <laughs> yeah, that's not freedom. That's not, that's not, um. And calm down, libertarians. We know oh, you think oh, you're a choice, too. Oh, it's and you okay. have to have X, Y, you have to have a certain amount of money to run and this yeah. and that. That's not freedom. Every that's presidency ever was decided solution. by who spent the biggest paycheck. Yeah, who spends the everyone. most money uh, yeah, uh, flashing everyone. off and so convincing. So who runs this country? Just like, just like commercials. Obama. Just like commercials. Commercials tell you all the time, buy this, buy this, buy this. By the yeah. time at the end of the week, 
because the day you like, I think I'm about to buy that. Mm-hmm. You've been duped. You've been, been had. Tricked. And y'all been this uh, country, countrymen, leadership in this place, y'all have been buying this whole uh, vote for these two people and it'll help. What is, what is the point of voting? to? Oh, to take care of our country, our land. But the Most High said what he said, the That's Most funny. High, who is the creator of all this, what he said is, if you turn to me and keep my ways, I will heal your land. So voting will not heal the land. Go ahead and read I'm the scripture. Curious. Go ahead from the Bible and tell me, will voting right. fix it? I'm curious it's not in there. To, to it's not in there. It says, trust the Most High and he will heal your land. I understand other people voting for these candidates. Because their hope can be, their hope is not they in have the no most hope. high God. Yeah. Our hope is in God, yeah. the most high, the creator of it all. That's who I choose. So why am I voting for somebody else to take care of this land when all I need is God for take, to take care of me? Matter of fact, when God helped uh, Moses and the children of Israel cross out of, you know, he parted the Red Sea and they got onto wherever rock land they were. And he said, okay, Moses, this is what God said. Look, gather the people because we got to have some rules around here, okay? We are people. We're established. I freed you. He gave them Now, the here are my laws. So I'm confused and curious. Why are um, uh, Christians going by the laws that the Most High set and going by laws about the government, these group of people who say they're yeah. just going to be in charge of me. How are you in charge of me when I'm answering to him? There are pastors out there that How? care more about the laws How? of America than they do the laws of God. A hundred percent. I have been told by a pastor that the law of God is bad. And by that same pastor told that the law of men is good, but I don't see that anywhere found in scripture. It's not biblical to say vote. There's only two votes in the Bible, guys. I've only seen two votes. Mm. All right. I've only seen it happen twice, mm. right? When the people picked Saul, mm. didn't work out. Mm. God let them vote for their president then. Yeah. And when they picked uh, Barabbas, Barabbas over, over Yeshua. Yeshua to be free so the, the only cross. two votes in the Bible, the people picked the wrong thing. Right. Because people are stupid, because we're sinners, because we don't know what's going on, which is why we have to trust the Most High. And follow his law. And the Most High says, I established the government. I put kings in place. Therefore me, they bear the sword, not in vain, but therefore me. So how do you think that your vote even counts? The Most High established it, and he clearly said, follow me because you are going to choose the wrong thing. And I know Every what time. you're thinking. Yeah, Every the, time. the law is set up. We don't make right perfect. choices. It's set up. What God created, if you take the time to read your Bible, it's a perfect system. It's how to even take care of this little thing called COVID as well. What yeah, to do they got if it there's in there. a, a it's great in there. pandemic? It's in, Leviticus. it's in the Bible. Yeah, and absolutely. have you seen how our government taking care of it? It is not the way the Most High said this. Not the way. So that's just one example. And then look at our our government, our justice system. <laughs> What a joke. Injustice system. What injustice? Yeah. That's what I'm going to start calling yeah. our injustice, injustice system. Because yeah. they definitely do deal with that. All this underhanded, <laughs> backhanded, and this, and lawyers yep. equal yep. liars, and who has the most money, and who doesn't have this on time, and that, and this, and that. What about actual justice? Yeah, if I, and we all know it's a money game. We've learned now by the documentary 13th, you can watch that on Netflix, that the, 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 the prison systems is about money not reforming not at all this is our government this is the the, the, the government most criminals <laughs> not are our repeat, government. Your most government. most criminals are repeat offenders so our prison system isn't They're working not, but that's they another they episode care. yeah so, man so i i bring that up to say the two different governments no what did i want to say hold on you brought it up oh, to yeah, say yeah. that we're clearly not doing the right thing and the government that we're putting in place is clearly not guiding us the right way. They're yes. clearly making bad decisions, clearly. And they make decisions. Here's what I really want to get down to as well. Like, I'm going to just go there right now. The same government that you're believing in. Oh, no, I know what I want to say, and I'll, I'll get to that. But Yeshua, Jesus, I know mm-hmm. what you're saying. Oh, Yeshua freed us. We don't need to do God's laws anymore. Why? Where? Who says that? Where does it say you don't have to do these laws anymore? Never. Because the Bible that I read, after all the laws, Moses tell the people my laws. He says you do this throughout all your generations. You have to remember this is the children of Israel. These are God's chosen people. Who we are grafted said, into, by the way. Who you're grafted into. If you if you're not Jewish or Jewish, if you're not Hebrew or Israel by blood, then you can be grafted in. The scriptures say that you can be grafted and you're now a part of the royal kingdom, royal family. Jesus is my cousin, Jesus is my friend, that's you and I. What's up? 
One love, Boom. heaven, Israel. all that sort of things. Great. So if this is your house and everything, so why on earth are you voting into that? Well, he said, when you go into the nations that I scatter you, because we are in the time of the scattering, right? We are in the time where the temple has been destroyed. The, the prophets prophesied in the Bible that the temple mm -hmm. will be destroyed. Mm -hmm. So you're not going to be able to do Torah perfectly and, and, forever. And to, but I'm yeah. going to scatter you into yeah. the nations. Why? The whole scattering was taking place so that we realize that we that the world system is bad and that we want to come still back. Have to go back. That we want to go back. To the whole point is to get us to go it back. Up to where you still have and to go back. He said, "When I scatter you into the nations, mm -hmm. now the scattering do is not, not do what they do and right. don't learn their ways." Well, right. democracy is a man-created system. Now you might say, "Oh, well, it's the best system on earth, or it's better than other systems, and it's better than this." And democracy does this. That says who? Says what? Because history has shown me that democracy doesn't always make the right decision. And I know that God's ways are great. And what he said is man's ways are foolishness to him. So mm -hmm. democracy was created by men, meaning it is foolishness. It's foolishness. Yes. According to God, it's foolishness. And don't try to tell me that that's the best we have, because the best we have is the government that God put in place. It's true. And we already have a king, so I don't need another one. King His Jesus. name is, yeah, that's and, right, and Yeshua. And we've already, I mean... You have to understand you're calling yourself a Christian and Jesus himself, Yeshua, Jesus, the king, actually followed those same laws he did. that you're saying, oh, no, I don't need to do those. Jesus set me free. Well, Good luck. You, you want. <laughs> Day of judgment's coming. Good he's, luck. He's he's saying this is my church, my church. God is saying this is my church. And to identify his church when Yeshua comes back looking for his people, they're doing some certain things. He called us to be a peculiar people, did he not? Peculiar. So why are you voting? That's not peculiar. That's what everybody else is doing. You're supposed to be looking like us too. Crazy right now. You should now. look crazy. You should people look should crazy. be saying you're a nut job. You're crazy. If nobody's calling you crazy, you ain't forward. Because guess what? They didn't like Jesus. They didn't like him. He they was anti-government. Like he was anti-government. The he, government at the time, he stood against it. So we should stand, stand against him. the government too and try to tell people we're against government. We're for God. We're for the Most High. Yeah. So Yeshua was people. absolutely anti-government, yeah, 100%. 100%. The, he wanted you to follow Jesus, the Most High, his Jesus father. Jesus spent most of his days offending people. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely for the people. Absolutely. Forget your government. Everybody we I'm have in the Bible. I'm not down with Rome. Do. I'm not down with Rome. And let's talk about Rome, by the way. Is Rome not the same, you know, system that we're up under right now? We are in Rome, 100%. And I can prove it with the scriptures. So, if you remember, back in the day, Nebuchadnezzar had a dream, right? So, we all know that, like, Yeshua is the head, and then there's a body, and that's that... Us. And that's us, right? So, so if there's a body of Christ, there the, uh, the enemy Satan, has the enemy, to have his own. he copies everything that God, that God does. So he also has his body, and we get a picture of this body when Nebuchadnezzar has a dream yes. of all world governments from current till the end of time. You can find this and in, in Daniel seven. I don't know if it's in seven. Seven is oh. where it talks about the Antichrist, but it's in Daniel. Okay, the book of Daniel, because it was Daniel that in, uh, interpreted, interpreted the dream. Uh, King Nebuchadnezzar. Read your Bible for yourself. Read I, gotta, that. I can't read it for you, but anyway. Now. So Nebuchadnezzar, get it. Nebuchadnezzar, right? He had a head, and then he had a body, and then there were arms and legs, right? And they were gold and, and all, brass right. and, and, and clay. And, so uh, the whatever. ten toes which is the final government that will be crushed by Yeshua because we see the rock comes down and smashes if them. If you know the dream, we have not the rock been... comes and smashes uh, Satan's government, okay? That's that right. rock represents Yeshua, and Jesus. And that's the ten toes, and we're not there yet. In, in, if you look at I how think, the Bible's structured yeah. and how the world is structured, I don't believe that we have entered that ten toes judgment. So know. if you look at the very next government that happened right above it, it's the divided Roman Empire. It's the two legs that equal the Roman Empire. Oh, so snap. that's what we're in. Because if you think that makes the Tower of Babel was the first time that man said, we don't need God's government. We are going to form a manly government. And they tried to and build, build a tower to God, yeah. so that they could go destroy God and set up a kingdom for themselves. <laughs> they tried to rage, now, rage war Now, when, when those people, it didn't say God changed their minds. 
it says he changed their languages. Mm -hmm. So when they left and went out to form India, China, Korea, Europe, all those other, uh, Egypt, right? All those other people that came out America. of these, these nations that spring up all over the world, they were just people that now speak a different language that are walking away but from Babel. So all of government, all government is, the is same spirit. Babylonian root. It's the same Babylonian spirit. root. And look at Rome. Did they not go and travel around the world and set up shop and then never leave? Mm -hmm. Guess guess what? We got troops in Germany. When was the last time we had a war with Germany? We're Rome. We got the same We're, spirit. America is in <laughs> we Poland. Got the same spirit. America's in Poland. We're in. Uh, Our symbol is an yeah. eagle, just like Rome's was. Yeah, so like, that's another what? thing. You have to pay attention. <laughs> yes, you have to it's pay right attention there. to the symbols. Yes, yes. And I know people like to ignore symbols, no, but pay attention important. to them. Look at Roman symbols and then look at American symbols. Look at Egyptian symbols and look at American symbols. The world's largest the, Egyptian ever, uh, obelisk is yes, in Washington, D.C. The Mo Washington Monument. Yep, absolutely. It's a pagan Egyptian, statue. Which, by the way, if you know anything about the Bible and God, Egypt and God did not never mix. Never once has never Egypt meant never. it as a positive, ever. I think ever. even <laughs> Joseph had to come in there to help out the children of Israel and save yeah. the world. So God and Egypt don't go. So why is there an Egyptian right in the nation's capital? An Egyptian, uh, well, I don't know what it's called, the Washington Monument. It's a, you know, shaped like that. It's an obelisk. Yeah. And then look at the back of your dollar bill. I do I got money right there? The back of your dollar bill. It's a pyramid. Let that sink huh. down. So with an all-seeing eye at top. The, oh, yeah. Let's and then in God we trust. Eye. And then show me in the Bible where our God is listed as an eye floating above a pyramid. And then I'll realize that we are a Christian nation. No, Go ahead, show me. I'll, I'll wait for you to tell me the verse. Guess who does worship the <laughs> eye, though? Egypt. Egypt. They have the, the something you can have it a ring, warm t-shirt, whatever. It's the eye of Ra. Yeah. And then there's the eye of Ra. It's like two eyes. The eye of Ra and then the eye of... I don't know the other one, Ma Pa Ka or whatever. Yeah, it's no good. But but they 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 put it right there out for you to see. This is Babylon. This is Egypt. This is that spirit of Rome. Same spirit. And and that that same system said, hey, let's set up a voting system and da 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 da. Yep. And you guys bought it. You bought you bought it. I Jason. did. I like, did. I believed in it. He believed it. God and, had and to show hurts, me different. And that hurts because you've been duped. They want to tell it's you hard to patriotism. Admit. They take uh, patriotism. Mm, don't get me started on that. I love the American people. Me too. Now, the system itself, the government. Nope. No. <laughs> because it is a system that is against my Messiah. It's against my Lord. <laughs> and he has some beef with them because he said, come out of Babylon. And he you sure best did. do it because he's coming to destroy it. He said, come out of Babylon. And if Babylon's gone then what are we coming out of so babylon still must exist today and it is the governmental system that we currently are under okay. so you can vote okay. if you want to yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, i don't oh, think there's oh, anything wrong oh, with it but just this. you need to know the system that you're going to exactly. is a roman right. system we have a senate just like they did mm -hmm. we got uh like individual pockets that rule regions just like they do we <laughs> call them like states it. they call them states too it's you know it's all thing. the same it's it's so all if roman this is the same system that was totally fine killing an innocent man yes you were jesus okay that's the kind of system we still do kill innocent people oh, tell me about it okay it's the same spirit don't mention on. the clintons and you have, you'd be oh. dead in a heartbeat don't well, mention the bushes either don't think that i'm uh, uh, it's all about the democrats because then bushes is just as nasty and gross can we talk about it or they can just we as talk gross man it? go ahead research it for yourself that that Man, I won't get into this it. We'll do system, that in another episode. It's like but this. Man, they do, you, you know, they show you one hand, but all this is going yep. on in the back. Yep. I don't like that. That's shady. Yep. I don't like that too much. It's nasty. It's and shady. presidents, they and don't ever do thick. what they say anyway. And, and why vote into that? It's like putting your hope into it. That's why I say nah. I can't vote. Because I feel like I'm putting my hope in them to help me. You they cannot, can't help me. They cannot, they cannot help, help me. They can't save me. me. They can't help me. I pray me. to this. You know what I mean? Yeah. So what, what can you do for me or to me or by me or for me? Anything. And let me just remind you of this. In the end, because I say this all the time now, the Bible should be renamed, spoiler alert, at this yeah. point. In the end, the same system you're voting in, you have to remember this is the same system that will kill you. They're going to cut our heads they're off. They're going to kill they're you. They're going to imprison us. Hello? Yeah. The Bible Hello? tells us what they're going to do. It Wake tells us. Up. It's remember. very clear that the government is going to kill us for believing in the Most High. That's what mm -hmm. it tells us. They're going to say, do you believe in Jesus? Yeah. Are you going to take this mark and believe in our system and our government and yeah. everything like that? And once so you, you better say come no, out of it before it's too I late. I pray you say You better no. come out before it's too late. Yeah, I mean, this is the 
same system that wants to kill you. And anyway, the whole point is it's not a holy system. We're talking about the back of the twenty, the twenty dollars, any dollar bill. It's going to tell you evil symbols on there. The same ones painted up in um, uh, palaces and caves and that they dig up in Egypt. God in Egypt, oil and water. So why are you in Egypt? Why are you in Babylon and in this paganism too? Oh, it's American traditions. Let's just do uh, Halloween and, and, and Easter and Christmas. Those are not American traditions. Those are pagan traditions those same spirits that were over there in that yeah. mountain and over here we and even celebrate the same holidays the as same they thing. did you <laughs> we even have are, pagan holidays you are it's a so child. obvious it's a pagan right yeah, just look it so up obvious. you are a child of god. and this is what they promote this is what they celebrate this is what they put in their advertisements christmas and this and that, and that, and that. it's for their agenda because they know their agenda is evil and well and y'all just keep on following it follow even them. though it says follow them down right there don't the do country, it it says you'll know them by their fruits and we get worse every year if if democracy Thank was you. working we'd get better every year that's all but we I'm get saying. worse every Use year good eyes, so just the fruit look. is telling me just it doesn't look. work and if it doesn't work then i'm i'm turning i'm turning to the most high yeah. and i would like any pastor out there i challenge you like if you have a verse that tells me that i should vote go ahead and show it to me but i know that you don't because you trained me see you people forget i was trained to be a pastor too okay and yeah, uh, he just now woke up. Yeah, I, yeah, right. I'm I'm new to the I'm new to the club. Like I'm like, I've been wait a minute, since I was eight. I was like, there's homelessness in this country. Ain't yeah, nobody I just woke about up. It. But this it, country's about money. The only verse Free. that they have is they try to reference Paul when he says submit to government. They love mm -hmm. that verse. That's mm -hmm. the go-to mm -hmm. for for voters. Submit to the government. Mm -hmm. But I also find the scriptures say you cannot serve two masters because you'll love one and hate the other. So which, is the government that is, Paul is telling us to submit to, which at the time was Nero like a horrible murderous man mm -hmm. was Paul telling you submit to this horrible person no he was saying submit no. to the good government because I do not fear who can kill the body but who can fear the soul so the government that yes. I must let's, submit let's... to is the most high's government because he can destroy my soul yeah I don't need to submit to fleshly governments because they can only harm my flesh they only and I don't need to be a part of that so the only verse you have to tell you to vote really isn't saying follow government at all. It's saying follow the Most High's government because the Most High, Yeshua, is the judge and he don't bear the sword in vain. And when he comes back, he's going to judge you based off of how you served him. Mm -hmm. How you served not him. Not how many times you marched. Yeah. Not how many times you you you, you Your I voted sticker will not get you into heaven. What was that? Your I voted sticker will not get you yeah, into heaven. Yeah, I voted though. <laughs> it will not but get I you into heaven. He Boaz. won't care whether you did or didn't. He cares he won't about care. his business. Yeshua, Jesus, he was about his father's yeah, business. Yeah, he won't care if you Not it. about the government's business. So yeah. what What? What business are you about? Are you, uh, oh, I need to watch this new program on uh, uh, the election. Oh, I need to watch it. Why are you getting involved in this stuff when you already know in the end? Yeah. It says they're going to kill you for believing in Yeshua, Jesus. Don't get involved they in will send that. You, it's a dog and pony They will show. send you pamphlets of, of laws and people. And, and I know Christians, because I was even told to do this because I was raised in the system, right? And I was taught that you have to research before you vote because votes are oh, important. Yes, yes, so I spent true. time studying people. Why did I not spend that time studying Jesus? Why did I not spend that time studying the Bible? Why am I studying what whether someone wants abortion or not? I don't care whether you want abortion what does or not. The Bible say about because the Bible says don't kill babies. Right. So I don't do it. And let them do whatever they, they do. They do whatever they want to do. They, they That's always right. gonna do whatever That's right. they want to do. And they could vote in that right now, and guess what? It would be legal. According to your system, it right. would be legal to Did kill children. Did you vote children. for a mass? Oh, snap, she went to mass. No, you did not. But guess what? You're required to wear You're wearing one. one aren't your you? government requires you. This dude right here, he don't wear masks. Nah, I just be walking in the store. <laughs> he walk in the store, be like, what? Well, people look at him like. They try to tell me to put them on. I just literally don't speak back. If he I just, I I don't argue. I just keep moving like yeah. I never heard him. He and doesn't even talk to him. They just walk he, away. He'll put it on like, <laughs> like you know, if he's like talking to somebody or whatever. But if he's just going out shopping, because we're all touching the same thing. We all know the masks don't work. But the point of, of what I'm trying to say is this you cannot sell any or excuse me you can't buy anything without a mask you can't you can't setting do us this. up for the mark they're telling you they're setting us yeah, up they're, for the exactly mark. so be ready they're you have to pay attention to not this dog and pony show election bull you have to pay attention to the the order of of what they're doing because mm -hmm. the dog and pony show been going on since the 1700s voting we know how that goes. Since before, Somebody man. wins Since and then the nothing happens. Whatever. Since the dawn of time, men have been trying to convince other men to follow them and do what they say. Mm -hmm. It's a cult. 
America is a giant cult. You, that's all it is. Well, Wh- yeah, uh, what's that's the true. definition of a cult? Look it up and see if patriotism fits the same definition. And I bet, I bet it does. I'm not concerned you know about saying? that. Uh, uh, so the kind of cult is that I'm concerned about. <laughs> Well, when when I don't want to display a flag and I don't want to vote and I'm getting persecuted for it, it's because people bought the farms, man. You they, drank they, the Kool-Aid. they drank the Kool Aid. They drank the Kool Aid. That's Kool-Aid. right. You drank the Kool Aid. Absolutely. And and th- this uh, the Most High, he never, 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 ever, ever, ever said, "Do what, follow the ways of men until I return." Come on now. He never said that. No. He we are to continue to walk in love and be. I think you should be a good citizen. I'm not advocating because you're not uh, you're not going to beat Rome. You won't win. They've already taken over the whole world. You can't just because wear they mask. haven't announced I mean, you can't buy anything in a big bright mask. lights one world government, just because they haven't announced that doesn't mean we don't have one. Because uh, you can look it up. About 150 people rule the entire planet right now. Same spirit. About 150 Same people, spirit. and that's why it says that there are many spirits of Antichrist. Now you got to remember, it says in the Bible, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but rulers of darkness in high places. So where are the high places? Where are they? The government. It's government. It's government. government. It's government. That's where they are. What are high places? Go to Washington D.C. and you'll see a bunch of monuments and high places. You guys, it this is a Babylonian everywhere. system that we have to the come eagle, out of. The eagle, the eagle that uh, yeah. is on the dollar bill as well. That's the same Egyptian eagle. I mean, That's come right. on now. And Yeshua clearly said when he was talking about the end of the world in Matthew 24, he said, where the eagles gather, so will the carcasses gather. And you look at all the nations of the world and they got eagles as their symbols and they're dead people all over the place. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Dying yeah. in wars, going back and forth. Why are we fighting a war? Why are we doing these different things? I got no beef with Germany. I got no beef with Japan. They didn't I mess don't. with my shopping today. They didn't today. mess with me. They didn't get in my way, but because they crossed the government. Come on, guys. Government and, and then you fight with your families thing. across the table about who yeah. should be in office. You, you, you. I so see so many stupid. people cut off friends and yeah. cut off family members because of this and that and the other. Nah, if you notice, the Bible didn't really mention skin color and stuff too often. It was just love your neighbor as yourself this and that and the other it's not like vote here vote there god knew we couldn't handle voting he said this is my you are my people this uh, yeah. is my system. he specifically you says do say. don't hey, choose what you yeah. want on, don't now. do what's right in your own eyes but do what i tell you to do and voting is exactly that it's doing what's right in your own eyes is it not you ain't in, is it you, not you doing should what not be making i believe like that this person is what's right. right. So I'm going to do what's right in my own eyes. It's, and that's always bad. Especially it's always when bad. they're putting up always. a fake front. They're putting up a facade of who yeah, they are. Yeah, them Satan they're really worshiping pedophiles. They're really answering to other Come people. On, they say, vote for me, you know, vote for me. And da, 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 da. But they got a whole other situation in the back. They got to handle money with Pookie and them because they got to pay somebody over here and them and that way. And this way. Come on now. Yep. And y'all in that system like that. Now let's talk about Yeshua Jesus again, please, if you don't mind. Um... Because a lot of people really do don't know that Jesus followed the Most High's laws. He participated. Not in only the did Jesus follow the Most High's laws, but he specifically told us, "When I come back, preach it, baby, preach it." <laughs> uh, not only did the Most High, uh, or not, not, not only, not Most High. Not only did Jesus, Yeshua yeah. follow the Torah perfectly, he had to, by the way, he had to. And and a little a funny historical sidebar, in order to follow the Torah perfectly, you have to preach it. Just saying. But anyway, uh, look at Deuteronomy 13. But anyway, uh, if you look at Yeshua, not only did he say, um, don't worry about all these other governments, and, and not only did he follow Torah, but he also told us that he would reestablish the kingdom of the Most High which is a Torah-based kingdom. He's going to reestablish a new nation that we get to join. So when the new Jerusalem comes down and Bible. sets down, uh-huh. we will join that nation and become a nation of Israel and the rest of the world will flock to us yes. to be saved. Mm-hmm. So we are specifically told that the purpose of the Messiah is to redeem us to come out of the nations, the Gentiles, come out of it. the nations and go into the nation of Israel. Yes. So when I got woke, I asked God, I got on my knees and I said, God, tell me what to tell the people. And I, was, I thought he'd give me like the whole book of Isaiah. Like, oh, man. And he said one word. What? He said, Teshuvah. Oh, That's what he told me to tell the yeah. people. And if you look up what Teshuvah means, it's the word in Hebrew for repent. 
but it doesn't mean change your mind like all those false Greek preachers be telling you. What it really means. The Bible should be translated in Hebrew, not Greek. That's right. Way. And what it what it's it really Hebrew. says is return to the house of Israel. And when you look at Yeshua's Hashuma. whole mission, his whole mission is to get people out of the nations and into the kingdom of Elohim. We We're need to be a part of that kingdom. That's our kingdom. That's this kingdom is not ours. We're right. supposed to be out of it. Yeshua's whole purpose is to redeem us from the nations to bring us into a new nation. Right. And so Jason and, a new and I, what we're doing is just, we're, you know, you call yourself a Christian. That means you follow Christ. Well, Christ kept the law. He was about his father's business. And his father's kingdom. And his father's not, kingdom. He wasn't not about Babylon's Rome. Kingdom. Never once did he talk not about, about what to do with Rome. No, no, no. He said, you, you come after me. And then he said, because you come after me, you'll be persecuted, which is why I'm not shocked when I say I don't vote and I get right. hounded by my own believers, right. fellow believers hounding me. I'm right. like, oh, it's, it's because it's the people. Messiah told me right. they're going to they gonna come after you mm -hmm. for following the kingdom. What did Yeshua say? Said. He said, uh, if they did it to me, they'll do it to you. That's right. So they're going to persecute so us. We're going to sound crazy. if you're following along with all and, and standing in line voting and voting, you ain't a follower of Christ. You're not a Christian. You have to follow Christ. And you're not helping the kingdom. He wasn't, he wasn't about, he wasn't about the Babylon at all. You understand what I'm saying? Like, you can believe in Jesus and all that, and that's good. But to call yourself a Christian, which I really don't, but to call, no, if you calling yourself Christian, if you call yourself a Christian, a follower of Christ, that means that you must do that. And Jesus didn't carve jack-o'-lanterns. <laughs> Jesus did not pass just out candy Maybe did to the just children. Oh, snap. Jesus See. didn't care about your parade. Pagan holidays because we're in a pagan nation. Now, it's I, that I, simple. I, I got to say, I, I feel so bad because we just going down on people. We have to tell you this. this A lot of stuff we just now found out ourselves. Yeah, like now, I said, woke, I was one woke. of you. But this <laughs> one right here. You know, he, he, like you said, you joined the service, you believed in, in what you were sent out to war to do, and this, that, and the other. And, and yeah. to come to find out, it's actually an evil system. The whole thing. So you need Wickedness. to think twice before you put your hope and your vote into an evil system that is actually yeah. not just against the Most High, but against you too. That's this system right. will turn on you in a second. And it says it right there on the pages of Revelation. It says they're going to turn on you. Spoiler alert. It says alert. they're going to turn on you. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I don't know. How should we end this, baby? I just really wanted to say that Jesus followed the laws. And mm -hmm. after he died, mm -hmm. um, I believe Peter wrote the laws. What We got uh, Peter, Paul. Peter, Paul. They continued John. to preach it. Um, John then, specifically says, because a lot of people like to say, to say a lot of people like to say that um, we only have to do what was reaffirmed in the New Testament. Um, that already shows me that you don't know what you're talking about. But um, it, but to break it down simply, it, it, John did reaffirm the Torah when he told us what the definition of sin is. When he said sin is transgression of the Torah. You can look it up in okay. 1 John for yourself. So we have to go deeper into those pages there and really find yeah. out what in the world Yeshua was talking about. Our whole purpose... He was talking about. Our whole purpose is to come out of the nations. Yeah. Stop being a Gentile. Yeah. If you're saved, you're not a Gentile. That's no. a false narrative. You are now grafted in and are a part of Israel. So you should start doing Israel kingdom stuff instead of American kingdom mm -hmm. stuff. So we need to stop celebrating American holidays. Mm. We need to stop celebrating American presidents. And we need to start celebrating Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, and most not importantly. Abraham Lincoln. Not that that's right. No, he was wicked. He was Go the, look it up. He was racist. He racist, had a wicked giant, man. The ones with the biggest statues. And doesn't he have a whole Lincoln Memorial? Are the worst ones. Those Absolutely. Ones you the look most out pagan. For. Yeah. Just, you know. Look it up for yourself, guys, because all we got to say is come up out of Babylon is what the Bible says. You can't tell me that it's not because I write it with my own eyes and I look around for Babylon and nobody calls themselves Babylon. So I looked to find what it is. Mm -hmm. And what right. I found is in the Capitol building, next, uh, when you see George Washington, who is the one who, uh, I'm good, baby, thank you. Uh, when you get to the Capitol building and you look at George Washington, mm -hmm. you can see on the on the ceiling he is receiving knowledge from Roman and Greek deities. What? You actually have to walk past two Roman gods just to enter the building. You guys, when I went on a search mm. to look for Rome and I went on a search to look for Babylon because I was told to avoid it, so I need to identify it to avoid it. Mm. You guys, we live in Babylon. We are scattered. We are not in our nation. This is and 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 Christian, you can't tell me that this is our final home. You can't tell me. Uh, let's play the game, right? 
Will it be left standing yeah. when the Messiah yeah. returns? Will we have a nation called America no. when the Messiah returns? Absolutely no. not. We will know. follow the kingdom of Israel, right. and we follow the king of Israel, who is right. Yeshua. That's and we will point. follow the most way. Yeah, ways Jesus the most is high. not going to come back and be like, I'm here. I'm going to run for president. I hope you guys yeah. vote for me. Nah. Nah, man. That's not how That's God. That's not happening. That ain't how we get down. That ain't how we get down. You can't call him God if he can't come in and okay. change everything. Then right. you couldn't be able to call him God. He coming in and destroying everything. Everything. That's his business. That's right. Because it's evil. I know you're like, what? Well, oh, no, it's because it's evil. Look at look at the laws. Look at the look at you know what they do behind the scenes. And I know and some people. It's evil. Yeah, I, like I said, you can vote if you want to. I, I don't. I don't think the Bible's against it. Yeah. But I do think that the Bible's against <sighs> Babylon. And I'm trying to tell you, this is where we live. So, I guess the best way to end it is to say what God told me to say, which is Teshuvah. Look it up for yourself. It means return to the house of Israel. Mm -hmm. So come out of the nations mm -hmm. or you, the, guess what? Babylon will fall and mm -hmm. everybody in it is going with it. That's why we got to get away from it. That's why we got to get away from it. So come out of Babylon, believers. Um, this is the art of being. I'm Jason Trader. Fabulous Millie T is with me. And we're here today to make you feel bad and to ruffle some feathers and to tick you Sorry. off. But guess what? If Christians aren't ticked off Sorry. by our message, then we're not preaching as hard as Yahshua did because they were ticked off at him every day. Yeah, they couldn't stand Jesus. They didn't like him. They, they didn't like him. They well, kill them. They're going to kill us, too. They're going to kill us, too. And if you want to come and try to kill me, you can look me up. I'm on uh, Facebook, at The Art Being. I'm on Twitter, at The Real Art Being. And you can find us, uh, if you'd like to email us your uh, death threats, we're at theartofbeing no, at gmail.com. I said just kill me. Don't be dead, just bothering me. Hey, now. they can't touch me till my appointed time, That's so I'm going to say what I'm going to say. So anyway, that don't, is don't, don't the open art. It up and hold it out now. I got to see, because when you say stuff, it opens it up. All right, all right. Spiritually. All right. Well, Lord, protect us as we live in Babylon and help us all to come free of her and her wicked ways. Again, that's the art of the letter B, the number three, I-N-G, at gmail.com. That's our email. Look us up. We look forward to hearing from you guys. Yeah. And all we can say, guys, is uh, I know you probably won't believe us. You probably think we're crazy. Um, Good. But um, Good. this is the two groups Good. of people that are going to hear this message. There's going to be those that are like, these stupid Christians aren't real Christians, and you're going to dog on us and hate us, which means that we're preaching like Yeshua and the apostles did because other believers hated them too. Tell me where I'm wrong. And then at. there's going to be the other group. And it's not going to be a group that just randomly believes. It's going to be you. And what you're going to do is you're going to go study for yourself. And you're going to look up Babylon and Rome. And you're going to look for symbols and try to find Roman statues and Babylonian statues and pagan symbols. And you'll find them littered all over everything that we call mm. sacred in Washington, D.C. The Even name Washington, D.C. stands for District of Columbia, which is a false god. Columbia is a false god. So you guys, there are so those of much, you who are going to so hate much. us. And I wish you the best of luck during the judgment. And there are those of you who are going to research this for yourselves. Yeah. And you will find. Yeah. And, and I'm going to tell you what. If you want the truth, yeah. the, the, the Holy Ghost will give it to you every yeah. single time. So if yeah. you open up your scriptures and you start doing some research with an open mind and an open heart, and you do not let anything deviate you from the Word of God, you will absolutely come up to the same conclusion that we did. And you will come to the truth, and it will save your life. And it will save your family's lives. Think about your children and their children's children. We are a, we what are, are the what results. Are the traditions that That's you're right. teaching to we are children. the results of indoctrination from years, 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 and years, and we have to break generational curses. Yeah. And the generational yeah. curse stops with me yeah. because I am no longer a part of Babylon. So come yeah. on up, Babylon. Yeah. We love you guys. We're throwing and the net out. You know That's right. who's coming? Who's coming? Because Jesus is coming him, himself. Coming? So I mean, I don't know what to tell you. I do want to tell people to be encouraged. You know, it is. Can be, well, not for me. You know, I don't fear nothing but the most high. That's all I can do. But, uh, um, you know, the Lord will protect you. That's right. You know, I don't want That's anybody, right. you know, I don't know. I, maybe we'll talk about that another Yeah, time. and we'll do some other like, episodes. You know, uh, we have our own, in the Bible, there's your own Hebrew uh, celebrations and things that we can take. So we're not saying you all the holidays are taken or whatever we're talking about pagan holidays the most we're talking about coming out of paganism has, yeah that's yeah. all we're talking about but right. anyway guys we got a whole uh series of stuff we're working on writing that will yeah, completely called? it's called let's go there let's go there and yeah. we just went there and we just went there we about went there. voting that's that was right. about voting so we love you guys and uh yes, thank you for stopping by